Magandang buhay! Welcome back to our virtual class. So we are in third quarter. So in today's discussion, we are going to discuss about the effects of force on objects. This will cover week 1 and 2. Are you ready? Let's get started! So in this topic, you will learn about force and explain the effects of force when applied to an object. You will find out how force can change the shape, size, and movement of objects. So what is force? A force is a push or pull applied to any object. Forces can change the size, shape, and or movement of objects. It occurs when two or more objects interact with each other. Just like what you see in the picture, are you aware that they are actually using force while doing those things? When you push a cabinet, you apply a pushing force. When you press a sponge, you exert a pushing force. When playing, you exert either pushing or pulling force. Magnets, gravity, and friction can also cause things to move. Force can also change the shape, size, or movement of an object. The shape of an object may change when force is applied on it. Pushing, pounding, compressing, bending, twisting, stretching, or squeezing are some ways of changing the shape of an object. The size of an object may also change when force is applied. For example, sharpening a pencil makes the pencil shorter. Another one, cutting a cardboard makes it smaller. What do you think will happen to a toy car if you apply a stronger force to it to make it move compared to a lesser force exerted on it? Yes, you got it right! The toy car will move faster if greater force is applied, and it will move slower if lesser force is given. The force applied to an object affects the movement of an object, whether it is push or go, or hang and pull. Now let's have our experiment time! We are going to experiment the effects of force on the size and shape of an object. Are you ready? Let's get started! Here are the materials that you are going to prepare. You may replace this with other materials available at home. You may also ask the help of your parents or guardian or any adult member of the family if needed. Good luck! Here is the table that you are going to copy in your science notebook. Observe each of the materials you have gathered. Fill out column B with what you did to change the shape of the materials. And fill out column C with changes that took place after you have applied force on the materials. First one is done for you as an example. Okay, so take note of the possible answers. So again, these are the possible answers. Look at your answers in column B. So what are the ways you did to change the shape of the objects? You do the squeezing, pressing, pounding or compressing, cutting and also crumbling so from those actions the size and shape of the materials like the sponge biscuit eggshell plastic cup and a piece of paper change their size and shape now let's have our experiment two so this time let's uh, experiment the effects of force on the movement of an object so prepare the following materials any round object like ball 
or marble and a toy car if you have. Again, you can replace it with other materials, any round materials available at home. You may also ask the help of your parents, guardian, or any adult member of the family for this ex experiment. So copy this table in your science notebook. So we have the three columns, trial number one or trial number, second column, types of force applied, and the third column, distance covered. So what are you going to do? Find a flat surface at home. It can be on the floor or on the top of the table. Make a starting point on the flat surface and mark it. So place your material, first the pole or any material that is round ball or a marble or a toy car. So place your material, example the ball, on the starting point and gently push it with your hand, gently only. Then measure the distance the ball has traveled using a meter stick or a ruler or a tape measure. Then record here your observation or the distance covered by your material. Then bring the ball to the starting point again, then repeat step 3 which is uh, push it with a uh, gentle and 4 for 2 more times but this time push the ball with varying force applied on it. Good luck! So how do you compare the distance traveled by the ball for example or your toy car when you push by the weakest force and when pushed by the strongest force? Just comment your answer at the comment section. Okay, congratulations! Now let's have our exercise 1. Put a star on pictures that shows pushing of an object and put a heart on the pictures that shows pulling of an object. Are you ready? Okay, let's get started! Good job, kids! Let's have our exercise too. Identify the ways shown on each picture and explain the effects of its action or ways to the object or materials. Good luck! So we have here the pulling, bending, or pounding. So what ways or action shown in the picture? Correct answer is pounding. And what do you think is the effect of it? So it will change the size and shape of the garlic. Next picture shows twisting, pushing, or stretching. And the correct answer is twisting. So when you twist this cloth, it will change the, the shape. Very good. Next picture shows pulling, squeezing, or bending and the correct answer is squeezing okay when you squeeze this orange so what will happen it will change the shape next picture shows compressing stretching or pounding the correct answer is stretching so after stretching what will the effect of it so it will change the shape Next picture, we have squeezing, pushing, or twisting. So the correct answer is pushing. So when you push that, it will change the movement of an object. Congratulations for a job well done! Always remember, the force applied to an object affects the size, shape, or movement of an object. That's all for today. I hope you learned something new today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!